What okay. we need to do then is uh, to understand the first part, because we know what the last part means, it's uh, a system. So it's uh, the first part is commune or common, which basically is the same thing. Those two words are very similar. Uh, how would you s describe the word common or uh, commune, uh, Jasmina? Maybe, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Any idea? When something is common, what does it mean? Something that's common. Something is normal. Right. Okay. When it's uh, normal or ordinary um, or, you know, it's just um, standard. Now, if we make everything normal, that is standard, standardized, in common. I don't know if you've heard of that expression. Uh, uh, everything is um, uh, in common. Oh, have thinking. you have you heard that expression before? Is in common when things common. Uh, is that means? Um, uh, I mean, are things just the, the same thing? That's I right. think, yeah. I think is ordinary, normal. It's standard, like standardized. Have you heard of that expression? to uh, standardize something. Uh, standardize, yeah. It means to make everything standard. That means everything the same, everything common. That's what it... Yeah. Communism is a system of standardizing everything. So everything is the same. Standard. So that means that all the people who, uh, according to the uh, communist system, are living, all of them, in a standardized way, in the same way, you see? So, in a sense, it's a, a, a sense of equality. Do, do, do you see what I mean? Everybody's doing the same things living the same way, having, having the same advantages and benefits. Do you see what I mean, uh, Jess? Yeah. Do you see that? You see that. Okay, excellent. So, it's a um, egalitarian system. That means a system of equality so that everybody is equal. Oh, no. Jasmine, know that even though everybody is equal, okay, we are all equal, aren't we, Jasmine? We're, we're all the same, but there are some people who are more equal than others. Did you know that? No. Uh, no. I, I'm, I please repeat. Okay. I, I so. So, I'll, I'll write it down for you. So, we are all equal. Do, do you agree with that, Jasmina? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. It, yeah. It, it's like, like the French uh, motto, the French slogan of France. It's, uh, do you know what the French uh, motto is? The, the French um, slogan for France? You know, each country has its, uh, its slogan. Um, do you know what it is for France, uh, Jasmina? Oh, I don't know. Okay. It's liberté, égalité, fraternité. So, you see, liberté, égalité, fraternité. Now, do you know what that means? I don't know, but I remember in, yes. in French... Uh, yes. Uh, 
in French. I got it. It means uh, keep moving, move on, French, like. Uh huh. I'm not sure. So, what is the word that you said in French that means keep moving, move on? What word is that you said? Uh, I mean, like, um, keep build up something, or I don't know. <laughs> I just can, guys. Can, can you just write it for me in the in the Skype chat so you can see what it looks like? No, no, no I, I'm not sure what it really means. I I don't know. I don't know what it means. Please just tell me. Okay, so liberty is liberty. You see, it resembles the word liberty, doesn't it? Liberté in French. It's very close to the English word liberty. Égalité, well, you see it's very close to the word equality. So you see the French also have equality. They're all the same. And there's fraternité. And that means fraternity. You, you know what fraternity means, uh, Jasmina? I don't know which word. I'm so well, sorry. When you're fraternal, you know, it's like being brotherly, brotherhood, or sisterhood, or sisterly. You know, it just means like brothers and sisters together, like one big family, all sharing together. Isn't that nice, Jasmina? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, now we see this word equality in the French uh, motto or slogan in the, the saying about their country. And we have that in China as well. Equality with a communist system. Everybody's equal. But this is the little thing that uh, I was saying a little bit earlier. But some are more equal than others. You see, I've written it in a Skype chat for you. So, if everyone's equal, what does it mean that some are more equal than others? If they're all the same, how can some be even more equal, more than others? Uh, I don't know. Okay. So, I'll, I'll explain it uh, to you. So, in the communist system, you know that um, most people are, are quite poor. You know that? Yeah. Uh, okay. So they're all equally poor. But there are those who are more equal than those who are all equally poor. I mean, they are also equal, the others, uh, who are more than those who are equally poor, because they are all equal as well, but in the sense that they are all equally rich. So there's two levels of equality. There's the common people, okay, who are all equally poor. And then there is those who are all equally rich. Now, do you know in China who are those who are all equally rich? They are like as rich as each other, very rich indeed. Who are those people who are all equally rich? Maybe some just a rich person. I don't know. Yes, exactly. I mean, you, you, there, there are some rich. You, you know who the who the rich people are in China. You, you, you've heard about uh, the the rich people in in China, Jasmina. Actually, you know the, the most rich person. You will never know their name, and uh, ah. so. Yeah, like some people in, in policy and some people is really rich. You're never going to know their name. But wow. some of yes. you will know their name and that it's okay to Google their name. But uh -huh. I, don't, I don't really like to, to just search this thing. So of I don't course. know. No, I understand what you mean. But at least you know that there are some who are equally poor, like most of the population. And a few, a very small percentage, of those who are equally rich. I mean, they're all more or less as rich one as another. They all have a lot of richness. So there's uh, 
um, like two categories, two levels, the equally poor and the equally rich. But the equally rich, they're also equal because they're as rich as uh, the others who are rich. So that is when, when we say that everybody's equal, but some are more equal than others. Now you understand that saying because some or most people are all on the same level. They're all equally poor, but the equally rich, they're more equal than the others because they have more than the others because they're richer because they're all equally rich. So do you understand that, um, that expression, uh, Jasmina? Yeah, I know. Excellent. Wonderful. Okay, so now we've understood that ism is a system. Now we can understand fully this word of anti-disestablishmentarianism, which in fact is against the opposite of establishing an institution or organization or building. Uh, and the person who does that, of course, and referring to the system of the people who establish these organizations or institutions, but who are against the opposite of establishing. And the opposite of establishing is disestablishing. So instead of setting something up, you take something down. So if you're taking it down, you're like destroying it. So they're against the destruction. So they're the, it's a system of the people who are against the destruction of organizations, buildings, institutions, and all of those things. Do, do you understand that, uh, Jasmine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, you are one of the few people who understands the longest word in the English language. <laughs> Isn't well... that wonderful? <laughs> Isn't that great? Isn't that amazing? You, you never thought you were going to be able to understand this word. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well done, Jasmina. Congratulations. You know, normally it's only the native level English speakers who understand this word. So you're understanding a word that normally only the native level English speakers understand. So that's really good. Uh, uh, are you happy to be able to understand things which normally only the people who have English as a native language, as a mother tongue? that you can understand the same things as them. Isn't that great? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm re really, really happy to know this word. Wonderful. That's really good. And you see that we've learned a lot through this word, haven't we? You, you think, think of all the different things we've, we've talked about. We've learned the different aspects of this word, the different parts of this word. It's really been a very full and very complete lesson talking about lots of different things. You, you see what I mean, uh, Jasmina? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's <sighs> good. Oh, I'm pleased that um, you're happy and uh, that uh, you've learned a lot and that uh, you've enjoyed this lesson as much as I have. That's great. Uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> so you were saying, Jasmina? Uh, no, I, I'm saying uh, thank you very much and uh, oh, yeah, have sorry. a nice day. <laughs> Yes, you have a brilliant day as well, uh, Jasmina, with all the blessings for you, all the good things for you. Keep well, take care, look after yourself, and I look forward to speaking with you again next time in our next lesson together, which is tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's great. Thanks a lot then. See you then. Thanks, Jasmina. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.